Okay, ready? Go. I, I would like to see what you put out on that thing, but <laughs> I don't even know how to I can't read it. You just oh, read it. Oh, uh, it starts off, oh, or something like that. Oh, I have slipped the surly bounds of earth and danced the skies on laughter's silvered wings. Sunward I've climbed and joined the tumbling mirth of sun-split clouds and done a hundred things you have not dreamed of, wheeled and soared, high in the sunset silence. Hovering there, I've chased the shouting wind along and flung my eager craft through footless halls of air. Up, up, the long delirious burning blue, I've topped the windswept heights with easy grace, where never lark or even angle flew, and while with silent lifting mind I trod the high unsurpassed sanctity of space, put out my hand and touched the face of God. Now that last part isn't so good, <laughs> but going up real high in the plane, uh, up the, lo the long delirious burning blue, I've topped the windswept heights with easy grace. And it's amazing what the plane will do. It'll lift you way up high, <laughs> whether you're above the clouds, where never lark or eagle flew. They don't get up that high. And wow, with silent lifting mind, I've trod the high, untrespassed sanctity of space. Untrespassed sanctity. Put out my hands and touch the face of God. Well, it scares the devil out of you when you're at that high, so that you're close to God, I guess. But it's awful lonesome way up high. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Well, other people would think differently, I suppose. But I like the poem. I love that.